Hello everybody, welcome to Tennessee Titans franchise. Today we are in the bye week and then we have a week seven matchup with that Houston Texans. Weekly award went last week to Christian Harris for AFC Defensive Player of the Week with seven tackles, two sacks, and an interception. Thanks to the injury to Joseph Klein, the second year linebacker, Christian Harris was able to wiggle himself into a starting linebacker spot where he excelled very well and he will be playing the linebacker spot that he played last week, this week again. And Joseph Klein is still indeed injured coach being in last place heading into the bye means that this time off could be crucial in figuring out how the how to write the ship any special plans for the week off probably just want to stay grinding xp is the best and stamina really doesn't yeah it obviously puts us in a rut or whatever you want to say but it's not too significant to get out of and then while we're in the bye week we can look at extending maybe a player or two if i find any but unfortunately i don't want any of these guys like right now like i'm not in dire need for a Devontae David, who's 35 and athletically ungifted at this point. Bobby Brown isn't the guy. He's a free agent I signed at the beginning of the season to play a depth spot, and he hasn't even played a role at all. No injuries on the interior or anything like that. KJ Hamler, no interest in re-signing. I'm not going to sign a premium for him, especially at normal dev. He is at 26, a little bit smaller and working himself out of a role with a little bit of the younger receiver stepping up. Jack Griffin's old. Jordan Love's not even starting for us at this point. Chigakonkwa at 25 is an interesting contract, but the rookie Schillinger, and we also have Carlos Diaz, who we took later in one of the past drafts, are, are just sufficient so i don't think we need chigazima conquo right now and until uh he can change my mind on that he won't get extended amani hooker uh 27 he wants a longer term deal and i'm not just gonna give him um extra money because obviously this is cheap but if i were to go down to two years i'd have to raise it to probably about three and then three and a half and i don't want that for for a money hooker so he might have to leave and then Jalen peacher i'd love to get a deal done as soon as possible but kind of waiting for him to come around with interest if he ever does maybe the last four or five weeks we'll try to get uh, a negotiation negotiation done with him but until then nothing really moving for us contract negotiation wise here with our focus players we'll head into wide receiver battle here for Schillinger and then do the same with Chuck Downing we get gold and no dev trade upgrade just 750 xp we'll do the same drill with uh, rookie receiver Chuck Downing now 20,000 with Chuck Downing we'll see if we get any awards hopefully a dev trade upgrade no dev trade upgrade just 750 xp as well for Chuck Downing start training and see if we have any upgrades Ooh, plenty actually to go around I forgot because we did that uh that stamina upgrade so we actually do have quite a few names in here i'll start with tyj spears probably just go power for him that's like the only role he'll really play for us so power back it is plus two break tackle plus two trucking chuck downing has 74 route running for literally every route so what we'll probably do is just play to that and go with deep threat considering gives us deep route running and sometimes medium probably could do slot as well but that's just not where he's playing plus three deep route and plus one speed is actually huge 91 speed 91 acceleration if he's gonna fly down the field deep routes already improving i think slot will be the next upgrades for him jerome whitfield who is playing the boundary for us just needs to be better in zone coverage we will go ahead and just upgrade that no overall upgrade for jerome whitfield the rookie plus three zone coverage is massive 78 for both coverages now give emmanuel judge a playmaker upgrade just to see what he could do after the kick return and then kevin gregory the backup linebacker really doesn't matter what we give him just need to make sure that he's good enough when he comes in if he ever does have to come in and we have seen him in goal line situations so he just needs to be uh, prepared week seven approaching the trade deadline but better yet a divisional matchup for what looks like last place in the division pretty much <laughs> it's, it's uh not not a pretty sight for us so far this season but um oh crap okay well yeah i'll just head in and i'll do all this we'll do the same drills again oh you what this extra speed feels great on chuck downing and uh get a pretty easy gold here once again no dev trade upgrade and we'll move to the same drill for the rookie tight end but we actually know how superstar better development you guys are like how do you know that he has superstar better development well when you upgrade a person to a certain overall when they have superstar better development they get an ability slot so we actually ended up getting an ability slot for schillinger when we upgraded him to a 75 overall so we know he has superstar better development pretty easy gold for schillinger no depth trade for him either just uh just a gold and gets that 750 xp additional upgrades from just practice in general so schillinger is one of them his spec catch could definitely be better vertical threat is probably just what i'm going to upgrade here he is pretty close to giving that uh that dev trait upgrade and schillinger up to a 76 overall and plus one run block medium route plus two catch and traffic awareness acceleration all those are upgrading nice to see rookie right guard shack booth needs to get better in the finesse department in general so i'm guessing that is just agile if 
I, you know, remember correctly. If I, if my court to my calculations, I didn't even see what upgrade we got. Okay, that's unfortunate. I care less about uh, Tyrion Davis Price. Give him an elusive back upgrade. Got plus three awareness and a juke move. We'll get ready, and it's actually a pretty good Texans team at an 85 overall. That feels very high, very annoying. Okay, well, I'm ready to uh, to go against another good team. Getting ready to go against this uh, scary looking Texans team. I'm not gonna lie, they've got some pretty forceful pieces on their team, including Tyron Matthews there now. Someone that's just as experienced, very aware of his surroundings, very good in coverage. Have to watch out for that. And that man right there. CJ Stroud, the front runner for rookie of the year in real life. Tennessee Titans versus Houston Texans underway here real soon. And buckle in, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a tough one. This is booted away by Stonehouse, and it is going to be probably fair caught. It is. CJ Stroud, Dalton Schultz, Damian Pierce, Mike Williams all entering the field. CJ Stroud season so far. 93 of 139. 1,113 yards touchdown interception ratio at one to one because he is at six touchdowns and six interceptions uh something i don't like here is christian harris manned up on mike williams doesn't seem fair or fun so we'll try to glue that one and that one goes for the backup tight dawson knox and dalton schultz that feels like a catastrophe for us in that that corner of that tight end room and we're actually missing one of our most athletic and better cover linebackers in joseph klein this one through the middle it is up in the air tank dell can't hold on first play actually looks similar to that one with dell not being able to hold on in traffic i know you guys missed that one but it was just quick to happen couldn't really announce it uh sean chambers on the return not too great we're gonna start this game out with some force we'll go with will levis empty backfield and just work with what we got and that is kj hamler and his speed this one overthrown just a tad we passed the ball so well last time out and nothing really going just have to throw this one away uh there's nothing we could do third and 10 we'll go for chuck downing trying to get a block does 91 speed not know how much of a difference that'll make in simulation or not in simulation but in like gameplay wise but i'm sure it'll be noticeable here once uh, we get into similar situations we put him in before that speed upgrade and we'll look for i guess clyde claxton i was scared that uh that safety drop down or that corner whatever it was and I thought that I was going to have to go play DB with Clyde Claxton instead of really paying attention and going to, to catch that one down the field. But it is what it is. We'll go with the Jalen Reynolds run, his first one of the day. We've been pretty pass heavy, so we can run the ball well. We have struggled to do that in recent weeks. First and 10. We'll work with Schillinger. Can't get over. He's trying to get it over the linebacker's head and just in between the safety and the linebacker. Didn't really work out. Second and 10. Tajay Spears will see a snap. Now played really well last week. Thought I'd give him a little bit of an experience expanded role nothing too crazy or great this week because the speed it really holds him back and it shows on that play third and seven look to make some sort of difference here go for the tight end schillinger can't get him inaccurate per usual will levis cannot throw a football it's actually quite frustrating addison reed now fourth and seven too long to really go for it plus not really in that risk-taking realm get in the game here it's up and good three zero first and ten it's a run to damian pierce he's a 90 overall now in this aka he is tough to uh, cover basically he's tough to but not impossible jonathan allen proving that theory right up there with a tfl third and eight it's gonna be a difficult down here for the houston texans trying to get something going really been stagnant on offense came out passing last time and they're trying the run game this time and it hasn't worked for them neither have been too effective tank dell's gonna be two yards short and that one needs to be thrown out earlier in my opinion if they want to give him a chance after the run to get the line to game but they didn't reynolds will get the go ahead and it's not a good run resort to the pass game now we'll roll out and look for kj hamler who's gonna have to check up to get that probably needs to be seen and thrown earlier one of seven 27 yards to start this game for will levis not a great start by you know any means actually he has been not tragic but just not what we need today and we will snap this ball and try to get i don't know screw it let's come back to the ball clyde claxton great uh, just amazing instincts i get i don't know that's that's tough probably should be a little bit more psyched about this as chuck downing will work outside on a wide receiver screen get him in space that's what he that's what he is good at and that's what we drafted him for be a nice playmaker after the catch as well as his impressive stature 
standing at you know a very impressive size as a wide receiver to move that well and we'll go for talk about moving well it's uh jalen reynolds he's been so great for us and he's good for a, a few yards a hunk of yards i should say chunk not a hunk a chunk i'm gonna eye up schillinger here no can do bumping on the inside we all know will levis's release has killed me in the past with like major sacks and that's not gonna, i'm not gonna have it this time all right basically just throwing it away a little early maybe you want to get kj hamler to separate over top he can beat that nice like release can't but this one intercepted sick dude don't know what i was doing jordan brooks interception need to throw that either earlier or a high ball it or something to give clyde Claxton a better chance instead of just throwing it straight to the linebacker uh, on a line it's just straight towards him uh can't really expect anything else tank dell with the reception this time catches it brings it in that's a big gain sorry i've seen kind of emotionless this game uh just not really feeling all that well drop from mike williams that's insane second and ten gotta watch out for runs but these short passes also might get us the dawson knox he's just short that might not be dawson knox by the way too i'm just nope definitely dawson knox okay they have a power back like damian pierce on third and inches i expect them to use it they don't this one delivered accurately to dawson knox gets the reception for the first down down on the 50 now we gotta watch out for that run it is it's back there it's aziz al shayer second and 13 now this one just wide open like just finding a, a spot in our zone to target and they go with mike williams on a nice little curl first and 10 looks like a run formation or something you might want to run out of nope instead it was going for a screen definitely roughing the passer but hey <laughs> we ain't calling it here second and 10 we're actually gonna bring a blitz and go and look for something like that aziz al shayer seems to be the playmaker today third and 15 now and it's just a wide open play no one was manned up miscommunication miscommunicado gonna put uh, mike williams in the end zone the ball is stuck to his hand hey you dropped it earlier bud stop celebrating first touchdown of the game goes for the, oh my god what in the bloodbath was that i was gonna say first touchdown of the day goes for the texans and the first pat is good instead we ended up murdering the kicker because i was drinking an energy drink and he was flying towards me moment of whatever and just just freaked out first and 10 jalen reynolds fighting for a little extra yard staying on his feet he's good for four second and six and just 20 minutes left or 20 seconds left here in the first quarter schillinger gets the first down i'm sure this will run the end of the first quarter out we flip the field here in the second quarter and we're gonna look to make just many impacts here and there not really go down the field not force anything with will levis second and three play action and we'll go for kj hamler who has speed but also is covered quite well third and three. Third and three we will get up and run it on our high horse aka jalen reynolds he's good for the first down running towards will anderson seems like a bad idea but we'll do it anyways and he almost made a play on that ty j spears good for five. Second and five now just go for Clyde Claxton, gets him in stride. Nice communication and anticipation. These two seems to be clicking, actually. First and 10. We look like we have a blitz or something. We're going to go for KJ Hamler. Another great play by that DB, man. Second and 10. We'll go for this one. Picked off again. Bad decision from Will Levis. Not uh, not our best football right now. Just threw that late. Needed to throw it earlier. It's not going to last forever. That open window just closes and we mess up. It's that easy. We are single-handedly throwing this game away. By we, I mean me. By me, I mean Will Levis. Might get benched. Super frustrating to watch for sure. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, bummed. I'm giving you guys, like, this sort of content. You know, like, I'm throwing the game. Whatever. It's it's my bad. I'm personally, like, I don't feel great about it. It's not something happy about, but hey i'm not the best at the game if you came here for the gameplay not the story i mean i feel like i kind of do highlight the the gameplay a little bit more than the story but you know what i'm saying like i'm not the best player you guys have been watching you know that and just i don't feel great about giving you guys you know turnover after turnover but that's unfortunately a, a, a learning curve and a lack of confidence actually in my quarterback and just the game in general aziz alshire for his what second sack today he's been so good oh my god second and 18 they are going to run the damn ball that is a good gain of yardage actually but third and eight still a little long third and eight now we'll wait for someone to come across try to make a tackle it's nice conservative tackling from uh amani hooker who is up for contract extension last year of his deal nothing dealing with him yet no negotiation talks or anything of that kind a great punt put us down at the six and we'll have to try to get out of it and that was going to be possible with 
Jalen Reynolds and how well he can run the ball, especially when you give us that week of a box. I'm sure you guys noticed Will Levis is still in the game and we'll go for, okay, this one just inaccurate as hell. Out of bounds, poor accuracy. Why? Third and four, we are actually going to run the damn football and it's good. Jalen Reynolds finally getting his feet back under him. It looks like our passing game is helping our run game a lot. Despite our pass game being not sustainable like at all, we'll go for, okay, you've got to be joking. Inside leverage was all Chuck Downings until Jordan Brooks phases through Chuck Downing to get to that one. Oh, this has been a bummer first half for Will Levis. I'm sure Jordan Love wants to get on the field fired up. He's ready to make this a win or this team win. And Whitfield comes away almost with the turnover, but it is a pass defense or pass breakup. Anyways, regardless of the result there, it's still a good play by the DB, the young rookie DB. You wouldn't expect to be making that sort of play. He's up there early making that play. This one to the end zone. Whitfield turns around. Interception. Jerome Whitfield. Touchdown in the end zone. Oh, my Lanta. Jordan Love came to the coach, personally said, hey, man, put it on my back. And we're going to put it on Jalen Reynolds for the first play, and he doesn't go anywhere. For the second play as well, we'll go with Reynolds. He's down after one yard, barely. Yes, Juan Morrison, their best DB today is out of the game third and nine looking to make a nice calculated decision here high ball clyde claxton almost had it in his hands uh 0 for one to start the game isn't a great look but it's you know not an interception first and 10 we've seen the playmaker aziz al shire has been today we'll see if he can do any good for us here and what in the hell man i'm not going that far right first and 10 we're bringing blitz but we're not showing it but we're gonna bring it anyways and it's gonna be a wide open gap to the quarterback christian harris Forces the ball out of CJ Stroud's hands. Doesn't matter, still complete for six yards. Same thing again, just bringing blitz. Have to rush it out of the quarterback's hands. Damian Pierce breaks one. Can't break out of Rashawn Montag's grip. It's down third and one. We'll have to watch for the run. And that being said, we'll try to just pinch up on the line. Try to make sure nothing really goes on on the interior let alone make any pro okay yeah christian harris back there again he's following up what he did last week and it's a great play by the young athletic linebacker christian harris the punch is away but a very defensive focused showdown today jalen reynolds today has been not the offense but been someone we can rely on eight rushes 46 yards and uh, a nice little per carry average which is always good to see for a guy like reynolds it's uh it's a good security blanket We'll go underneath. Hamler with speed can beat just about anyone. And we'll call a timeout. First and 10. We can just look downfield. Perhaps throw this one up a little bit. Hamler now. Is this one inbounds? I'm going to be curious if they call this inbounds. It is going to be called inbounds. We'll call another timeout. But huge play from Jordan Love. Are you kidding me? Probably not the best play in this situation. We'll go for Chigakonkwo. Turn up field. Get out of bounds. Good job. We'll not waste another timeout. We'll have another one, though. This play is all about finding the right receiver. And nothing. Nothing. No one's the right receiver on this play. Oh, my God. And we just filtered back with Jordan Love. Probably can't do that. Third and five now. This is where it gets a little interesting. Do we want to go with the run? We will. Reynolds trying to make someone miss. Can't. Well, they'll call a timeout. Fourth and two. Why are we lining up to go for this? I mean, I'm kind of on board with it. I like Clyde Claxton. If not, we can go to Reynolds. We do have that timeout in case we can just get down. I guess we'll snap the football. Go Clyde Claxton, end zone, catching traffic. Claxton is clicking right now. He's he's probably our best receiver on the field um, all today. Maybe KJ Hamler, but that's more of his speed. When we're talking about all-around receiver, Clyde Claxton's had great instincts, awareness, and catching traffic a few times. Clyde Claxton probably seems like the, the player to highlight in our wide receiving room right now. Maybe a little breakout game incoming for him. First touchdown, probably of the season for him. I can't remember any other time in the end zone. Uh, this season for the young receiver. Did I just miss this? I didn't. Luckily, uh, 10 to 7 now. We got a three point lead. 19 seconds left for the Texans. Doubt they can do anything with it. I'll let you guys know if they do. Playing a little further back than you probably would like to in this situation. We're still containing the run quite well. Only seven yards there. Why call a timeout if you're just going to go and try to, you know, just why, why, why do this? Why, why make it that much of a hassle for us? Tackle inbounds. Mechie. Might have been swung out. Yeah, swung out of bounds. Snapped out of bounds. Or not out of bounds, but just going to force him out of bounds. Six seconds left. They are kind of marching, though. Classic CJ Stroud in action right now, where he's just trying to get the, the players down the field or whatever. And we'll come back for him. Oh, my Lanta. Mike Williams wide open. Out. 
zero seconds left. Uh, yeah, that one was kind of doomed from the start. Mike Williams, though, almost makes it, uh, you know, some sort of an impact play. Jordan Love came out uh, through the ball great on one drive. We'll stick with him for the second half coming out of the break where we get to discuss what we're going to do. NFC North, little division showdown here. Zero to 14, Lions controlling that one. Jared Goff, a big reason why. In Washington, Kansas City Chiefs opposed. Oh, wow, actually. I was going to say they are probably a tough opponent, but no, Trey Lance and the Washington Commanders seem to be handling it just fine. Holy crap, Trey Lance is playing out of his mind, has himself an 11-point lead over one of the best teams in football. Kenny Pickett is pretty efficient. Lamar Jackson is very efficient. 13 to 15, 147, two touchdowns, leading the Ravens for a seven-point lead over the Steelers, headed into halftime. Let's get back to our game. Like I mentioned, we're sticking with Reynolds here. It'll be an RPO, and we'll just go to him. He's up the field for nine yards. Pajay Spears into the game, short yarded situation. He'll We'll just work with his blockers get up the field enough and it's gonna be play action we keep those linebackers at bay in stride going for kj hamler which would have been the first read there is incomplete on the run and reynolds takes this one gets up the field can't beat 43 if he does that one might be a home run it's not only a gain of six. Third and four first read here is definitely reynolds and we'll go to him he's short of course uh phenomenal man coverage as though he wasn't even supposed to be playing man on him Fourth and three, not going to risk it. Sure, you could say I'm a wimp, whatever was any other explicit words you want to use. You can you can try, but I'm just going to be comfortable putting this one out in a way. It's going to be down pretty far back, except number 14 takes it out past the 20. Damn it. 10 and 7. Got to hold this team. Mike Williams, who equated over 100 yards in that first half, comes back out here right away another nine second and one we're bringing not an all-out blitz but we're definitely going to bring some players down to try to help doesn't work out damian pierce gains quite a bit first and 10 outside got Knox, and he's stepping out of bounds seven yards uh after the catch or after i guess seven heads seven yards ahead of the line of scrimmage down on the uh the 48 now second and three gonna be a toss outside trying to play this one nice as good as we can actually it's not good at all texans are marching right now and sh uh, show no sign of stopping or giving up mercy and jonathan allen doesn't either one sack he's got tfls for days on the season probably leads the league by a wide margin over his teammate jeffrey simmons who's back there quite often getting a sack on that play slowing down some momentum making sure there's nothing to be talked about dawson knox good for only five third and 14 tough down for the texans curious what they'll do maybe target the seam and i'm going to use her as these outshire pretty deeper or pretty deep down the field or deeper than christian harris that way they really have nothing to speak about never mind just got wide open dawson knox way too much time in the pocket and uh cj stroud makes a play it's stupid first and goal now and they will run the ball jonathan allen having none of that dylan reed going backwards three yards second and goal going right back to it pierce gonna force himself into the end zone golly we suck that is easy point scored there for the texans few big plays propel them uh despite you know us having a few good plays on defense just too many bad plays where our defense really doesn't work out doesn't do well or doesn't hold up so it is a touchdown damian pierce pretty easily through the middle nothing we really could and or wanted to do about it looks like our team's just jogging out there it's not fun first and 10 play action will go for schillinger who's open jordan love delivers a rocket out there tyron matthews just a good enough athlete to get to schillinger who looks absolutely massive compared to tyron matthew by the way power run up the middle we'll just follow our blockers and try to do whatever the hell that was two yards on the play talk about power run we'll go right back to it skronsky erases jordan brooks from that play reynolds trying to work back inside as the line to gain he's been good today 13 rushes 80 uh, or i guess over 80 yards now just a tough situation to be in if you are the young running back because we do want to pass the ball can't really find too much to go on jordan love throws this one out in the way second and 10 will go on the ground reynolds one man to miss juked a little too early there god damn it um not exactly the jukebox i was hoping for third and three we'll have a unique route run and this one schillinger catches it in traffic first and goal 7 11 122 and a touchdown jordan love very impressive numbers will line up with a power back give the defense some time to adjust maybe look and wonder if we're gonna pass but we're gonna totally debate them ty j spears over top touchdown his first touchdown in a long time can't remember saying 
uh, Ty J Spears anytime recently, uh, you know, insinuating he was in the end zone. That is pretty good. 17 to 14, we come back with a impressive drive of our own. This one perfectly timed. I gotta probably stop talking during these PATs if I'm gonna focus on making them. 17 to 14, Houston Texans. We'll see if they move the ball as effortlessly as they did last time. First and 10, they'll show run, and we're gonna be trying to get there at least. We do have outside run as our defensive focus and we have struggled today against the runs when it's directed outside we've seen tosses we've seen uh just damian pierce straight up go outside and it just ends up working for uh, damian pierce and the rest of this offense tight coverage what was that pull up there from aziz al shair refusing to make contact i don't know what's going on dropping back into coverage that was a nice pass breakup mccreary making one of the best plays i've seen all series long from him let alone the defense we've seen some incredible stuff we got to watch out for the run right here this is a very scary situation harris blows that one up early allows aziz al shair to have a straight path uh, with his eyesight to damian pierce jonathan allen or yanking damian pierce up to fight third and nine now we got to stick with our guns here and mike williams nice i guess perfect coverage but just a good window throw first and ten we bring some linebackers in we're gonna try to just create some sort of pressure from the interior mike williams gonna try to outrun whitfield no chance there he's an athletically gifted man still up to the five not something to be uh, impressed about first and goal they will go for damian pierce we knock off balance right away it's a loss of one we're here to create pressure once again and we do end zone tank dell touchdown yikes we were gonna put up a good blitz we're bringing pressure we got cj stroud on the move our dbs just don't do their job uh well enough as christian harris is actually the only one to get there is that jerome whitfield it probably is considering the nickel is Roger McCreary is supposed to be, you know, signed on some sort of tight end. Tank Dell maybe gets an illegal pick or a pick in general. Gets to the end zone, 17 to 21. Turned into an offensive showdown real quick after uh, halftime there. This offense has excelled in all levels since Jordan Love has joined up and uh, started for us. Not started, but uh, came out and started playing quarterback for us. Only two yards on the game there for Reynolds. Kind of frustrating. Second and eight. And man, they are just committing to the run or something's going on. Uh, maybe something broken with the computer because it looks like they know we're running the ball and I guess we'll try to switch it up and pass here I don't know how well this will really go or how well it'll do. I guess uh, we'll do a little double play action Try to get someone no they we have people down. What is going on? CPU is just trolling me right now It is gonna be face mask on the defense. We get bailed out. Uh, it's gonna be first and ten Jonathan Cooper costly penalty I don't know what's going on right now we just straight up got shot on. No one's blocking or anything. I guess we'll go for Hamler. They've got a very physically gifted um, Rasul Douglas. Is that out in coverage? That's crazy. He's not that fast. Second and 10. We got to get something going right away. We'll go for Sharif Gore, the rookie fullback. He's good for a few yards. These are the situations we rely on Reynolds for is he's just so good in these sort of situations where we need him. He always comes through for us and we're gonna try it here on this drive. Really rely on him, go through him, despite coming out in uh, no running back set or I guess empty backfield set is what you'd probably traditionally call it. We'll go for Whitfield. Gonna make that catch a little bit more difficult for himself, I guess, I don't know. First and 10 now. Um, I guess let's go for KJ Hamler gonna be out of the back of the end zone we're just trying our guys deep it's not working out second and ten we got schillinger in motion over there we'll have him on a nice little out on uh, that side and then we'll snap the ball here get out of the pocket and go for this one intercepted just a bad read one player the whole time i had and jordan love can't get up it's a pick six god damn it cj henderson end zone touchdown good for him cool i guess awesome good for them yeah that's amazing God, I hate this fucking game. Jordan Love coming right back out there after a costly interception. And that is just a real life Jordan Love type of play right there. He has not been great in crunch time this year. I guess as of late, he was really good in the beginning of the season, second half. Second and three, probably not the rundowns that you want or like you probably expect at this point. But we're going to run the football because that's just what we do best. Reynolds over that 100-yard mark. He is consistently playing at that level and uh, at that sort of yardage. So we'll try to snap the ball someday. And let's go for Hamler here. Inbounds, catching traffic. Let's move up tempo. Let's keep it going. PA boot slide, not going to work for me this time. We'll audible out of that and just work with the middle of the field. 
try to get someone or something going. Clyde Claxton overthrown. Poor accuracy for what? Snap the ball, go for Schillinger. He's got the seam, the, the release, the free release, actually. That was wide open. Not even anyone home trying to stop that. We will snap the ball, please. It's ridiculous. And we'll go for Schillinger. Who's got it? First and goal. And Jordan Love showing some sort of command we haven't seen all season long from, you know, this offense, this two-minute drill. And getting it out to Schillinger. It's only right. Gets it in the end zone. Two crucial catches on this drive. End zone touchdown within, like, seconds. That was amazing play. We'll go for two here, I guess. Um, two would make it a three-point game. Makes sense. Snap the ball. Go for Sean Chambers. Catch the traffic. Nope, he sucks. That drive puts us right back into this game, and we'll try to play a little bit closer coverage and a little better coverage and uh, try to stop the run as best we can. Broken up. Nice. Stop the clock. Get um, no waste of timeouts. Nothing. Just trying to stop any sort of clock usage here. Trying to get a sack. This one out. It's a missed tackle, misplay. Everything's screwed up, man. We've got the guys in the right spots. We have the people where we want them. Just couldn't make it happen. We'll shed back, and this one's going to be a 99-yard touchdown for Damian Pierce. At least tackle him out of bounds. Thank you. Now it's stop the run at all costs, no matter what, and can't do that with Roger McCreary. Call a timeout. Second and four. If this is a counter play, we're screwed. But hey, if they're just going to run it up the middle, it's going to work. This one not. Free release. Missed throw. Thank the freaking lords. Third and four. If they run it here, that was, I was going to say, it's just going to be straight up pure chaos. And of course, caught. Tank Dell. I, I'm going to kill my. Like, what is this? What is this, dude? This is Madden just peeking right now at all. Like, what? what is this? What am I playing right now? This is Lose Simulator. There's nothing you can do to win in these sort of situations in Madden when they don't want you to win. You're not going to win. End of story. We're back there. Call a timeout. Best we can do is hold them to a field goal right now. Go down, score a touchdown, get a two-point. That's the best we can do. That is so bad at this point right now. Try to clamp down on the run here as well. Yeah, as he's Al Shire in the backfield. Nice last time out. Third and 14. They can run some time out, whatever they need to do. But it's not going to... It's going to affect us in a big way with the clock uh, going to be where it's at. And Damian Pierce wrapped up. Fourth and 10. They'll take their points. Up and good. Fourth and 10. No worries. I guess not fourth and 10. What am I saying? It, it, Good field goal for them. They're up by eight. We got to go down and score. I felt like our defense was in pretty good position to make a play. Manuel Judge also in great spots to make a play. Manuel Judge, there's been no better kick return his whole career. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Emmanuel Judge on the return to give us a, a chance. A chance. We're not going to get our hopes up, but we get a chance. And that is all we can ask for. Do we run it here? Do we go to our most dependent guy, Reynolds? No, we are going to pass this one. Go to the guy who's been so good all game. Pass interference, maybe? I don't know what's going on here. With that, we had all inside leverage. It's going to be roughing the pass where we get bailed out. That's amazing. There has been no more free two-point in my life. We'll run it with Reynolds down here on the one. Reynolds, 31 to 31. 59 seconds left. Uh, yeah, Emmanuel Judge just did what he had to do. Got to the end zone. Great playing. Great kick return. Great common sense. Now, can we hold the Houston Texans? It's very unlikely. They have three timeouts as well. God damn it. First and 10, and they won't run it. They'll just go for Aziz Al Shire's Dawson Knox, and he'll be shoved out of bounds. Jonathan Allen's hurt too. Can we just stack on more negatives to this? Dump down. Dylan Reed hasn't done anything today. Only a yard on that, and they'll keep the clock running, I guess. They did end up taking that timeout. We are in zone. We need to make sure we can just get it to the point where we are manageable. You know, maybe get a completion and not what I was thinking. And they have a huge one. Odell Beckham Jr. Injury for him, but still holds on somehow. They are two yards away from field goal range. The target is 38 yard line. And I have no assignment with Aziz Al Shire. That's not good. This is scary. I'm just going to cover the middle of the field. Maybe high, maybe low. I don't know. And yep, great play from Christian Fulton. Next time, put both your hands up and intercept that. Play a little further underneath football here. And Aziz Al Shire. What? Oh my, that is ridiculous. Aziz Al Shire had that all day. And they're not going to do anything about it. They're going to run it down to the final uh, few seconds. No, they're going to try to do something. No timeouts. This is destined to go bad. Considering Madden CPU time management is awful. They run out of time. We go to overtime here. It's going to be a nightmare for us. But they are going to just run it to Damian Pierce. 
run this one down to what a few seconds taunt us maybe a little bit what is happening are they okay they should get this off i will let the cpu take shaq griffin oh my god blocked punt can anything go right for the texans in crunch time no overtime is initiated and a regulation what is happening coin toss tails never fails it's heads damn it all right well we suck first and 10 they have the ball first we know how this works they go down they get a touchdown and it sees al shayer and rashawn montag there to stop the run second and 10 now they won't shy away from anything get down dawson knox huge game just wide open do we care to play defense, guys? Can we play defense, please? Play man coverage. It seemed to work a little bit better here against some of these Texans receivers. And, okay, sack Christian Harris in the backfield immediately. Amazing. Second and 16. Looks like a run formation and a run type of play. It is, and it's Jeffrey Simmons having none of it. Third and 20. Let's go. Third and 20. They're going to try to get something going, like, across or, or down. Nope, it's going to even be a bigger sack. Harold Landry getting a sack. Oh, my Lanta. We have dug in this team in a hole. Fourth and 35, we have six sacks on the day, and they're going to punt this one away with Johnny Hecker, who has been in the league for decades and decades now, and it'll be Sean Chambers on the uh, return, and we'll see what he can do. He gets outside. Sean Chambers, one man to beat, tries to get outside of the kicker or punter, can't beat Hecker. He's up to the 40. Great return for Sean Chambers, though. This is where we dread turnover, so we'll put it in reliable hands with Reynolds, who's going to switch field, get up the field. He's good for a few yards. Field goal wins it at this point, if I am correct, and we'll just get Reynolds. He's up to the 26. Second and seven, the clock continues to tick. We'll have Reynolds, and he will be up just another yard or so third and six we'll go for chuck downing make a game saving play he does he has the yardage to gain he's been good on that screen pass i feel like we win this game either way that play happens or not so it isn't really like an impact play but it's a it's a great play are we gonna win back-to-back -back games here after starting how bad did we start like oh and four maybe i think yeah we're one and four now two minute warning hits second and ten just running up the interior and it'll be jalen reynolds good for a few more yards added on to his significant day to day third and six we'll go with a draw peter skaronski good reynolds ends the game with a touchdown in the end of regulation we thought that there was no way after we lost that coin toss would we have a chance in this game with how good the houston texas have been on offense little did we know we'd get a well i mean and this was after after the blocked field goal the insane kick return we have gotten so many things go our way and so many mistakes in that first half there from will levis jordan love doesn't come out and play a perfect ball game he obviously also had an interception there was just some things tagged along with jordan love like the the sense of leadership the tempo the throws he was able to make down the field that was pretty accurate compared to will levis where he's just so inconsistent but when it's accurate it's accurate and he's got a big as arm as anybody but with jordan love he's consistently more accurate in the intermediate part of the field and that was the real difference here in crunch time when we were just trying to do our best to win this game we end up coming out 37 to 31 overtime thriller jalen reynolds huge part of that kj hamler got involved chuck downing got involved and better yet clyde claxton got involved we got everyone going today jordan love an amazing end of the game those last few drives were amazing despite looking like he almost lost us the game overall we did a great job today just to solidify how good of a game jordan love had great quarterback rating probably the best we've seen in his stat line in a long time jordan love just came out firing made all the right reads just showed his seniority um his experience i guess is probably the better word but 108.8 .8 is like i said probably the best we've seen in the box for a while uh 14 to 22 to 24 and that two touchdowns those two touchdowns i should say and then the one interception that was just a straight up bad read uh, it was on me and then will levis just too inconsistent um these three interceptions were probably my fault i worked all my my stuff out with will levis bring jordan love in he gets an interception just one and um i don't know maybe will levis just getting the short on the stick on this one but 24 times 136 reynolds was of course just the highlight of the day he always is no matter what starts off slow he finishes great he finishes or i guess he starts uh you know very very good and then he kind of faded midway through and then came in overtime with you know no, no, his head down something something crazy some beast inside of him said that you're going for uh the, the game winning touchdown and did both running backs ended up with a touchdown today ty j spears will continue to get carries and uh 2.6 per carry doesn't really show how good of a, a player he was today came in in crucial downs um i think he had like two first downs just a good player and and i think we need to get him involved a little bit more receiving schillinger oh my god i didn't realize he went for 7 121 and a touchdown 
was probably that game-winning drive, or I guess one of the game-winning drives, that big impact drive where he went the whole way. Seven receptions, 121, and a touchdown really makes me like excited about him, the fact that I didn't realize that. If he can do that every game, along with Jalen Reynolds going along every game, have a security blanket for Jordan Love, and as long as Jordan Love makes all the right throws, all the right reads, we should be good. Chuck Downing, three catches, for, uh, 54 yards. He was a lot of behind the scrimmage plays with uh, two screens that both went for a good amount there. Clyde Claxton, three receptions, 51, and a touchdown. Finally see him stepping up. KJ Hamler had a few pretty long receptions, 42, and uh, had two other, I guess, intermediate ones. I thought he might have had two long ones, but KJ Hamler, three catches, 74, and um, just like I said, 25 great on average and when you really look at it we've targeted him deep plenty of times just couldn't really find uh space on dbs so that's kind of unfortunate but chickazima conquell got involved reynolds was not as used in the pass game as we normally have to we have to use him in the pass game to be you know efficient and to not turn the ball over and get consistent yardage he normally gets about eight catches a game if i had to guess but two today really shows how well we were making reads down the field sharif gore had his one catch for 15 yards. He was really good defensively. Six TFLs um, all around. Aziz Alshire had a great game. Six TFLs is insane, along with four for Allen, two for Simmons, two for Christian Harris, along with two sacks. Our linebackers played out of their mind. I will be tweaking sliders. Uh, Jerome Whitfield had that interception. He's been so good since he's gotten here. Him and Roger McCreary really starting to pair up well, along with a play you know that comes every here and there for uh, Christian Fulton, our other boundary corner who we might look to replace somewhat soon. I don't really know what the whole deal is with him. Very inconsistent play and you can't really tell because he is kind of locked down against the right receivers but when he goes and has a bad matchup he has a bad game and that's not fair. Not fun. Not uh, not not great to watch either. So, thrilling game though. Christian Harris too back to back phenomenal games. Rightfully has an upgrade. He just needs to be better at block shedding in general so probably run stopper. Yeah, that would be the block shed upgrade. No overall upgrade but I'm sure if he gets enough block shedding here plus three it'll make a significant impact he's up to 71 good for him and to get you guys even more excited for next episode it is going to be the trade deadline which is so sick can't wait for that and we have another great team ahead of us five and one jets we have just beat the 85 overall texans they are now at the bottom of our division two game win streak after beating the niners a breakout linebacker let's go hopefully that's christian harris if he can you know get upgraded he might actually be a long-term solution after just being brought in as a, a depth option and then players ready to negotiate might look through those scouting national focus will be huge probably quarterback all right i'm not gonna lie after i said i would like a real quarterback like someone we know in real life and who knows if we can see this sort of play from jordan love we might not need one jordan love came out there and balled and probably will start next week i hate to just drop that bomb on you guys now but after this this trade deadline we're gonna have a full team for the rest of the season we're gonna have to work with each other and make the right decisions to make the team and help the team win and that being all said i think a lot of that leads with jordan love being the starter after such a phenomenal uplifting boosting morale second half of that game it was just amazing play from him very surprised and then yeah christian Harris up to start that would be kind of huge uh levante david could be the levante david replacement actually i'd probably actually consider moving aziz al share he's probably one of the better cover linebackers moving him into the middle linebacker and then have joseph klein who is currently hurt for a few more weeks move uh Klein up to right outside, Christian Harris to left outside, and Aziz Alshire in the middle linebacker, and then just have Aziz Alshire and Joseph Klein as our sub linebackers, or probably Christian Harris and Joseph Klein just because they're more athletic. Jerome Whitfield has been great, like I mentioned. McCreary's amazing. Shaq Griffin's probably going to be gone. Christian Fulton, um, inconsistent. <laughs> Let's say that. And yeah, I don't know. We we got we got some people that were eyeing at the trade deadline. You know, hate to uh, hit that. I don't actually hate to. It's actually good anticipation. So come back for the trade deadline episode. It should be very, very fun. I intend to at least make one move. Anyways, that'll be all for me. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. Go down, subscribe. Go watch any of the past content on the channel. It'll help me out a lot. And it'll help you guys out a lot. Because you guys will get a lot of entertainment out of it. That'll be all for me. Thanks for watching. Deuces!